Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to speak about hooking up the Focusrite 18i8 to your iPad. I've done many videos on the connectivity, on the hardware end, and this is going to go into the settings to get it working 100% the way you want on your iPad. Now, I'm pretty sure the second generation and beyond are all class compliant for Focusrite and will work just by plugging them directly into the iPad. But again, to get them working exactly the way you want, you might have to change some settings. One thing is you can't access those settings on the iPad. You actually need to plug into a PC or a Mac before you do this. Again, you can connect the iPad to the focus right, right out the box. It'll probably work, but you might run into a few weird sound errors that you don't really understand. And the reason why is because you didn't go in and do these original settings on a computer or a Mac. So the first thing you want to do is hook your Focusrite into your computer or Mac. Then go to the Focusrite page and go to the downloads. When you get to your Focusrite download support page, you're going to see something like this. You're going to want to choose Focusrite. You're going to want to, you're going to, want to choose the interface version that you have. I have a Scarlett 18i8 second gen. At that point, you'll get your download options and you're going to want to download Focusrite control with your Focusrite plugged into your PC or Mac and the con Focusrite control installed. When you launch it, this will be your default settings. And the two main parts you're really gonna worry about here are your hardware inputs or your DAW playback for your software. Now, what the hardware inputs does is turn this into a passive mixer, meaning that the Focusrite is now not needing a DAW to generate sound. Just like a passive mixer, whatever you put into the Focusrite will just directly go in out. You don't need any type of DAW to play it. It's great for you know live performances where you don't have a DAW and you just want to use this maybe as a mixer, or maybe you have a setup where you want the hardware inputs to be set up exactly in that nature. So this is why you kind of choose where you want your Focusrite to work. And you have to choose again, if you want it passive or to use it with a DAW. And if you want it passive, you simply just add the inputs here. You have to go through and choose which inputs will be passive and whether or not they'll be mono or stereo. So you gotta set it up like a mixer. You can customize it how you want. The issue is two come on by default. And if you're using your DAW, it actually will be double stacking these two tracks. And it took me a little while to realize why a few tracks felt like there were two layers to them. And the reason why is that I had my hardware passive inputs going directly through on top of my DAW inputs. In a sense, what I was hearing from my monitors wasn't a direct reference to the sound. It had two extra passive layers, which didn't get recorded into my DAW. So it took me a little while to figure out why what I heard from my monitors wasn't what I was getting in my DAW. And that is the reason why. If you plan on using a DAW and you don't want it passive, you want to make sure you kill these hardware inputs. If you want to use it as a passive mixer, I don't think there's any reason you need to kill the DAW playback. You simply build the hardware inputs the way you want. But if you want to use it as a DAW playback, I definitely recommend you kill all the hardware inputs and just leave the DAW playback active. You simply close the control panel and it sets closing and it saves your file. At that point, you have all the settings you need to hook the Focusrite into your iPad and use it with the DAW of your choice. I hope this helps a few people hook their Focusrite into their iPad and get the proper settings. It took me a little while to figure this one out and realize what was going on here. But it's something I highly recommend you do right away if you plan on hooking your iPad into the Focusrite. As always, I need to thank the viewers and patrons of this channel. Without your views and support, I wouldn't have the time to make these tutorials, videos, live jams, push out multiple videos a day, and now just really push my dreams forward. It really means a lot, all the views, support, everything. Can't thank you guys enough. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.